Hey everyone, today we're going to be making a plug and play emulation drive. Let's do this. So here we have the enclosure for the SSD. This is a transparent case because I really like transparent cases. This was only about £6, but it is cheaper if you get a plain black one. And here we have the SSD. This is an 128GB SSD that I picked up off Amazon for about £10. Simply slide the SSD into the enclosure and you're good to go. Plug the SSD into your PC via USB and use a program such as Bellina Etcher to burn the operating system onto the drive. Once the operating system is installed, restart your PC and boot into the BIOS. From there, go into the boot menu and select where you want to boot from. And voila, you booted into Boxera. Someone in a previous video commented requesting the specs of my mini PC, so here they are. The first game we're going to be playing on today's video is Mario Kart 64. This is something a bit different from the last video because we didn't actually try N64. And as you can see, it's running super smooth. And also in the previous video, we didn't try running PSP either, so this is FIFA Street 2 for the PSP. As you can see, yet again, it's running really well. I do unfortunately have to keep this game muted, just because there is a lot of copyrighted music on it. And last but not least, we're going to be emulating some PlayStation 2. Someone commented on the previous video requesting I play something a bit more demanding than Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. So here we are with Budokai, Budokai Tankaichi 2. I had to have some form of Dragon Ball game in this video because I love the Dragon Ball franchise. This game came out a few years later, so it should be a bit more demanding. And yet again, PlayStation 2 is running super smooth. So I'm sure you'll agree, for the more casual retro gamers, this is a great idea. So yeah, go and pick yourself um, an SSD up, an enclosure up, follow these instructions, and you'll have a plug and play Botasura drive. Have a good one everyone.